<laughs> hey, hey, here we are. Thanks so much for joining. Guess what? Uh, we had some massive thunderstorms last night, and that was excuse enough uh, for us to not go running. Was it raining when we uh, got up and it was like running time? No. No, no. but there's a threat of storms <laughs> all day. Yeah, yeah, it is raining now. And uh, just a little bit. What stinks is that it's actually nice and cool. It, it would have been a nice run. Yeah. But yeah. We didn't what's go. done is done. We didn't go. But we're here because we have a lot of info to share. And like we said last week, for us, this is huge. It's huge. So thanks for joining. If you haven't, please subscribe. If you like this video, hit like. And remember, if you hit the notification button, bing, you'll find out as soon as we upload a video, we're doing our best to upload yeah. every week. And you know, every day, every week when you say that, I think to myself, we totally do it every week. This update may inhibit our ability to do this I every know. week for a little bit. I know. Okay, okay. so first of all, um, uh, this is not a big deal, but I got my tooth pulled. So Tuesday, <laughs> this Tuesday. I they did. gave it to us. Yeah, I have I have my tooth. I totally expected that to be medical waste and to go <laughs> yeah, away. Yeah, yeah. We have his tooth. Yeah. So uh, please send us suggestions on what you think we should do with said tooth. I think it's going to get framed next to Millie's plate that got removed from her leg. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So we're going to have a framed wisdom tooth and a framed uh, knee plate. I don't know. Send us suggestions. <laughs> Let us Where know did what it end up? It's not on the counter anymore. Where is it? Ooh. Where is it? I don't know. Oh, jeez. Oh, man. <laughs> That'll be fun later. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, boy. Anyway, so It'll turn up. Uh, there's that one. Update. Boom. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, big news. This is massive for us. We're moving. We are leaving the <clears> state <throat> we currently uh, are in, and we're moving to a brand new state. We're moving to a brand new climate, to new environment, new elevation. It's uh, it's amazing. We're scared. We're excited. Uh, everything's like uh, right now in this weird uh, turmoil because we're packing. Uh, we have to sell our house, so we're like boxing stuff up, and we're having to like make this uh, not look like our house anymore. Basically. Yeah, like a, so. Take a good look at all this. Yeah. It won't be there next week. Yeah. It's actually coming off the walls yeah. this weekend. We were told it needs to come down because it makes it look like our home and not like a home somebody would want to buy. envision themselves in. So, yeah, we're, wow. And here's the deal. Mm. We live in a, a place that is approximately 600 feet above sea level. I can we, tell you exactly what oh. we are. Hang on. I found a new feature on my watch the other day. We are at 862 feet. I was wrong. 800 and so okay so we live in a place that's 862 feet above sea level we will be moving to a place that is 8500 feet above sea level yep yeah we're moving to the mountains yeah oh my gosh <laughs> we visited once and uh, we had a hard time going up one flight of stairs sure did. so we are looking forward to acclimating uh, but anyway, it's a big deal for us, and uh, it may impact our once a week videos for a little bit. Yeah, we've got we're gonna have some weird stuff going on on weekends. I think for a while, getting ready, showing the house, um, seeing all the people that we're about to not see for a while. Yeah. Um, all of that is kind of booking up our schedule. So yeah. things um, things that may be a little yeah a little different. Yeah. Um, and, but we'll still, we will do our best, right. as and, you say. And we need to run. I mean, you know. Yeah. Darn it, yeah. we should have run today. We have a lot going <laughs> yeah, on. Yeah, we do. <laughs> and, and, and here's the deal. 8,500 feet above uh, sea level. That, that, that elevation is amazing. If you have experience training in that kind of environment, please let us know what to do. Yeah, and how long does it take you to get used to it? Mm -hmm. And if anybody remembers what it was like when they first moved there, how long does it take to get yeah. used to it? Because 
we didn't really acclimate the nope. week that we were there. And we were uh, we were led on a walk while we were there, and at one point we were at ninety three hundred feet mm -hmm. of elevation. It was elevation. a hike. I call it a hike. Yeah, it was a hike. <laughs> yeah, it was a hike. <laughs> Oh man. <laughs> it was uh, yeah. something. So, so uh, we're moving. Uh, we'll probably be there uh, permanently, I would say mid July, late July. Mid summer. Yeah, it's going to be, it, 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 there's a lot. I mean, I'm sure everybody watching has moved at one point in their lives. We're. This we, is our biggest move. Yeah. yeah. I think, certainly together and even like. Yeah. Before we knew each other, this is probably the biggest yeah, this, move this, this, is, either made. this is huge. This <clears> is huge. So yeah. uh, we, we're looking forward to sharing with you uh, the sights and sounds of where we're going because it is absolutely, absolutely beautiful. Northern New Mexico is where we're going. Northern New Mexico. Yeah. Where they get uh, 10 feet of snow. <laughs> so things are going to be a little different. Yeah, yeah. If you've been following us for a while, you know around this time of year, we really start complaining every single week yeah. about how awful it is to run in the heat and humidity here. Yep. Yep. So that's going to change. <laughs> yep. Here's... You just have like another couple of months of listening to us complain about that. Yeah. And, and things are going to be very different yeah. and we're going to learn how to run in snow. <laughs> yeah. 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 And we were totally amazed. There is no facility there that actually has air conditioning. Mm -hmm. it, the buildings don't have air conditioning. It doesn't which get is cold completely enough. completely foreign to us. Yeah, it's like, what? What? Completely foreign. And uh, we have to learn, no joke, uh, how to uh, use wood to heat your mm -hmm. home. Mm -hmm. and, Here, fireplaces are really more decorative. Yeah. They get uh, used maybe twice a year. Yeah. There, they heat the home. And there, it's only like, here it's only warm like this far in front of the fireplace yeah. and then cold yeah but yeah so we're learning things about radiant heat Lots never knew uh, you know we're both from a kind of desert uh, mm -hmm. place and that's we are excited to get back to desert yeah to dry but dry climate. we're not uh we're not experienced with snow at all except you know the light snow that we get here mm -hmm. whenever it happens so uh gonna have to buy a snow blower don't even know how to What's use one. That? Yeah, what? Gonna yeah. have to buy uh, snow shovels. What? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. So yeah. if you it have, would be an adventure. <laughs> yeah, it's totally an adventure. <laughs> but if you have advice or experience, please share with us because this is this is totally foreign to us. Yeah. Uh, but we're excited. Yeah. And um, logistically, it's also going to be kind of crazy because, you know, here we're dealing with, we're going to go to Florida for marathon weekend, and then we're going to fly to California for half marathon uh, weekend. And, you know, planning flights and all that from here. Well, sure. Well, we have two basic options. One will be to convince, so we have Millie Dog. Yeah, Millie who's the best dog in the world to us. She is. She hates every other human being on earth. Absolutely. Except for my mom and dad. Sorry. She's definitely cool with mom. <laughs> she likes to pick on dad sometimes. Yeah, she does. <laughs> so there are babysitters. Yeah. Um, and they live very close to us now. Mm -hmm. So one option is to convince them to come, like take a vacation to the mountains and <laughs> watch Millie while we're on this, you know, um, big trip. Yeah. That would be perfect. Um, that would be great. That'd That's be one perfect. option. Uh, the other option will be for us to come visit them for a few days, drop Millie, fly out from here, come back, drive back. That'd be rough. Yeah. I mean, it's doable. It's but... doable. So yeah. things are going to change. Yeah. Our, the kinds of vacations that we take will likely change. Yeah. I anticipate we'll continue to do, you know, Disney runcations and things like that. Oh, but yeah, yeah. I think our other trips will be different. There'll be trips that we can take Millie with us. Yeah. Yeah. So more road trips, um, more like Airbnb type stuff. Yeah. Which will be neat. It's not yeah. something that we generally do, but it'll be okay. Well, okay. And, and the other thing too is now we get to experience uh, new um, races. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, we've kind of tapped out the races around here. We've yeah. done all the big ones. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah. So what opens up to us are places like, you know, races in... Uh, Santa Fe, uh, Colorado will Colorado. only be a couple hours away. Yeah, um, so we're really excited about that, yeah. and uh, it's just all brand new. Oh, um, you know the other thing too. 
So we're going to be in a few months. We mentioned this last week in a few months or next month or whenever we're going to start our training plan for the Disney world followed by Disneyland half marathons, uh, which will be different because we're doing back to back, you know, half marathons instead of training for one big marathon or one big race. So, um, a couple of things that we thought about that was actually a determining factor and you know, which race to sign up for in Florida. We were on the fence ish for a while about, you know, do we sign up for the marathon or do we sign up for the half marathon? And thank goodness, uh, David very wisely was like, do we know if environmentally we're going to be able to run 20 plus miles in our new home? Oh, yeah. And I'm like, oh yeah, we don't know that. Maybe training for a marathon our first winter in this completely new place isn't the smartest move. We feel like because we've been running long enough, we've run enough half marathons, we know we can, it'll be painful, but we know we can pull a half marathon out of the air if we have to. Full marathon, not so much. Yeah. So we're gonna do our best to like keep training through uh, the winter and figure out what that means for us. We feel like doing that with even a pair of half marathons is easier than doing it with. Yeah. A marathon. Yeah. So that's why we ended up going half marathon route yeah. instead of full marathon route. This is also why we ended up not signing up for wine and dine because this was like a possibility. What well, wasn't definite yet by the yeah. time wine and dine um, registration came about, but it was an, it was close enough that we were like, if this happens, we that will be hard to pull off. Yeah. So uh, the other thing about you know making this move is that the elevation that we mentioned. This maybe, maybe, I'm not sure yet. We'll see how we feel when we start running at it. This might be when we actually wholeheartedly try walk run, try oh. like a Galloway thing. Mm -hmm. We don't do that currently. We just kind of mm -hmm. run as long as we can mm -hmm. and then walk, take walk breaks as needed. Mm -hmm. But, you know, maybe this is, this is what our bodies will need to help us acclimate, like trying this like more regimented yeah. walk run. So we're going to probably give that a try when we start um yeah. getting into higher mileages there yeah. just to see what happens yeah it's there's just so much new stuff i mean all our videos are going to be they're just be different they're going to be different i mean it's all new stuff because the other yeah. thing too is we don't have the right gear it's we're, we're going to be doing more trail stuff yeah. too so we're going to have to get you know so we don't even have shoes. cold weather clothing that is good enough for out there nope. and so we we do want to thank very very much uh our, our pal ragley because we <laughs> asked her hey you run in cold weather what do you <laughs> recommend because you know we, we we're out of our element yeah total so i mean our our shoes and our clothing it, mm -hmm. it's just going to be totally different and we might even have to invest in uh treadmills because we'll see how it goes yeah. i'm really hoping we can like get by yeah yeah but it's, uh, we'll see how it goes it's it's crazy it's exciting yeah. it's scary yeah. uh but uh well there you have it we wanted to share with all of you that's what's happening stay tuned because uh it's it's gonna be uh, it's it's gonna escalate neat. quickly i yeah. think too yeah it met, is. We met with a realtor yesterday and like they're coming to take pictures on Tuesday. House going to be on the market next bro, week. It's bro, like, oh, oh, oh my gosh. Wait, you it's mean, real. It's happening. You mean it's I happening. I have to clean the baseboards now? So, you know, it's. We have, we have some work. To, the house is in great shape. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. We have some work. To yeah, do. because, you know, it's like everybody's going to come in with a critical eye oh, yeah. kind of thing. It's like, oh my gosh. Oh, wait, we also have to buy a house. So, uh, <laughs> the next few months are going to be so much so, fun. So, uh, you know, uh, live vicariously uh, through us and you don't have to deal with the, the pain and stuff. Uh, anyway, oh, so that's what's yeah. going on. Remember, the backdrop's probably going to change. Yeah. Things are just going in a really, a really neat, and, and we are happy about uh, mm. a neat direction. So, now you know that's what's going on. Man, I've said it, but this time, <laughs> it is always an adventure with you. Stick around. Next week, more stuff. And please, let us know how you're doing. I mean, training should be starting soon. Mm -hmm. Right? Yep. All right. We'll yep. see you next week.